from Karachi, former Pakistani ambassador to the U.S. Zafar Hilali from Islamabad, Syed Tariq Pirzada, strategic affairs analyst, also joined by Professor Jaspal, who is strategic affairs expert at Kaidi Azam University. Admiral Jawed Iqbal is joining us in some time from Lahore. And I'd also like to welcome from the Indian side, K.C. Singh, former Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs. Maruf Raza, Strategic Affairs Analyst uh, here at Times Now. My first question is to General Jaswal, former Army Commander, Northern Command. General Jaswal, this is not just a ceasefire violation. This is a crossing of the LOC. This is the beheading or alleged mutilation of Indian soldiers on Indian soil. This is not just another ordinary ceasefire violation, is it, from your experience? Uh, very much uh, when the LC was hot. At that time, uh, in our lexicon, as we call the border action teams of Pakistan, which had a mix of the terrorists and the SSG people, they used to come across the L LC and carry out such attacks. But once the sanctity of the LC, LC has been made calm since 2003, this kind of an act is uh, an act of aggression to come 600 meters inside. <clears throat> and this is not the first time. Even last year in the valley they had done similarly. They came and attacked the post of ours. Now the alibi by Pakistan is that their army is not involved. It's not an army attack. It is the terrorists who come in and carry out such bad action. Now, can you believe this, that the terrorists would cross over and carry out such like dastardly acts of mutilating the bodies without the tacit support of the Pakistan army? Impossible to believe. Active support in this particular case, to this is, impossible it, to believe. And that's, that's why I... I because that, of the firing. That's why I want to know why Zafar Hilali was in a mode of denial when he's been appearing on Indian TV channels all through the day today. Zafar Hilali, no, I, I, this, was, this was the 29 Baloch Regiment, if you want me to be precise, which was uh, very much yeah, part of this yeah, operation, which is, being, which is being described as a border action team led by the 29 Baloch Regiment, which has carried out this mutilation on Indian martyrs, lost the line there with our guests from Karachi. I don't know if our guests in Islamabad can hear me. But if they can, I'd like to put that question we first to, 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 to either Syed Tariq Pirzada or Professor Jaspal. This is a clear... Okay, let me yes. make it one thing. Yeah. Yes, I hear you. Good. Let... Okay, can I talk? Go ahead, sir. I think that uh, you rightly pointed out that if there is an LOC fire, definitely on both sides there are troops. And we cannot deny... But we cannot ignore what happened a day before, yesterday. So that is very important, and that was the starting point. Now, the, here the question is that if the crossfire is taking place, certainly troops are going to be martyred or dying. But who is responsible? We have to identify what are the reasons and what is the background of it. And if we are not focusing on it and simply alleging on each other, I think we are not hitting the problem. No, we are only creating a problem. No, sir. Professor Jaspal, I think you can are I, trying to underplay it. Yes, no, yes. I think you are trying to underplay it. This is not just a ceasefire violation, Professor Jaspal. I'm sure Saik Tariq Pizada will also agree. This is the second incident since no, the 2003 Abuzar, ceasefire me, where, the, me, where the LOC has been breached. The LOC has been no, breached. Let me just jump in. Yes, go ahead, jump right no, in, Saik Tariq Pizada. jump in. Sure. Look, uh, how long India shall continue to deny the reality that uh, that Jammu and Kashmir is a disputed territory oh my God. under the international law and under the Simla Agreement. The oh Simla my. Agreement, let me remind you, that was signed by your Prime Minister. It says that there has to be a final settlement of Jammu and Kashmir. Do we understand that phrase? Sir, but you yes, know, you know, I'm here to talk about today. No, one second, one second. You know, you know what you're doing, Sayyid Tariq Pisa? You're trying to immediately politicize it. Now I I don't want no, you, you no 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 one second if you if you want to no, no if you want to talk about Shimla then I'll say in 1954 the Jammu and Kashmir Constituent Assembly unanimously ratified the state's accession to India in 1956 on, the Jammu and Kashmir on, Constituent Assembly history, adopted dear. on November 17th 1956 section 3 in that constitution to come say on, the state on, of jammu and kashmir shall a, and will be an integral part of the union of india a so papa, a but puppet assembly cannot that, be used you see, to legitimize you, a historical you see today, dispute no no no, 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 no no my question is this sir 
Sayed Tariq Pirzada, my question is to you, is the only way that you have to raise the Kashmir issue now to send your brutes across the LOC, not just kill Indian soldiers no, on Indian soil no, that, one minute, one minute, behead that's, them, look, that, mutilate them. No, no, that's not true. Carry out barbaric that, action on them. That's not true. That is true. Who, who is claiming that, that we is have what sent, has happened? Did we admit that we sent these troops across the border? You have no, never did, admitted across the line of control. You have never admitted. We did not. We did not say that you are alleging that. Look, this is a this fact. Is a program. Let's 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 calm down. Then take the issue a piece by piece, point by point. Sir, Here's the point. Sir, the, the point what has is happened this, is that what, India no, and sir. Pakistan so what are is, in a process of normalization of really? relations. Certainly, we that is, see a provocation from the Indian side. That is such. The Indian side has not denied. That is such. That is such. That is such. So completely wrong. I don't have the words to describe it because I know heart of heart. You also know this can ceasefire I, can I just is a sham. Respond to it. This ceasefire is a sham. Uh, uh, I want to get. I, I want I just General Jaswal before I come no, back to you. fear. Maruf. Try to be act as an anchor, not as a judgmental. Sir, the ceasefire is a yeah, sham. Uh, no, you you can raise a question and then get our opinion. Don't don't. Sir, I am raising a it. question. I am raising a question. You are not raising what a question. You are giving a judgment. No, sir. I am a raising a question Please, which may come, appear to, to understand you. Understand what is the analysis and what are the TV talks? One second, sir. You see, the problem is if I state some yeah, facts please, to you. Please, please try to act uh, rationally. Thank you, but let me tell you this. I will now point four points to you since you have asked me to be factual. Yes. So, is it true or not? Four points in response to your accusation that I am taking sides on November 26, 2002, the first violation. In recent times, last three months, 10 Indian forward posts, 6,000 rounds of heavy weaponry were fired across Poonch. December 6th, you know the incident which happened when the Pakistani Rangers fired at Pansar forward outpost. Right? Now, 6th January, ceasefire violation took place in Uri. We have pictures to prove that. In fact, you will find it interesting, Professor Jaspal, that I have a total of 18 incidents since July 5th. Which is why I am saying this ceasefire is a sham. I don't know why you are in denial about I, I, it. No, I am not in denial. I said day before yesterday, one soldier of ours was martyred. Today, two soldiers of your, according to your reports, were martyred. The incident is very gruesome and we have to address that. So who and what are the, the reasons we are saying we should ignore it? But you are going into the history. Who, who carried out the gruesomeness? History, I can go into the history. Who, and who carried out that, the gruesomeness? A provocation is on both sides. Who My carried out the gruesomeness? Both sides. Who carried out no, the gruesomeness? Not. India is not a so. Can I? India is not a picture that I is not provoking. Clarify. India is a once, big power. India is also I, a big No, no. You are. See, sir, if the ceasefire is a sham, the ceasefire is a sham. We need to accept the reality of it. Maruf. Maruf, who has made the ceasefire a sham? Yeah. Would you tell our friends in Pakistan, who has made the ceasefire a sham? Uh -oh. Are you inside? Or not, uh, you know, let me statement? sort of put a few things in perspective. The, sir, sir well, the, my guest from Pakistan, sir, please be kind enough to listen to my point of view. You wanted points of view to be brought out. Sure. So sure. let me bring a couple of things into perspective. The first is, the first is that you know, it has followed a pattern on the part of Pakistan and we cannot deny that there is enough evidence to prove that, that whether there is a visit by a high level international diplomat to India or a senior military commander to the location near the LOC, such incidents are orchestrated to draw attention and to increase the level of India's response thereafter because LOC traditionally has followed a tit for tat response. So to get a response and escalate the situation, so that attention is diverted back to the LOC where the United States, amongst other countries, has asked Pakistan since Kargil to respect the sanctity of the LOC. The second point that I wish to bring out, Professor Jaspal, sir, with respect to you, that you say that Kashmir, the Kashmir issue, the whole, you know, Kashmir assembly which acceded to India is a sham. But please understand, historically, Kashmir acceded to India under the same conditions of partition under which Pakistan was created. So if you, if, you dis, if you disagree with the accession of Kashmir to India, then ask questions about your own creation. And the third point that I to bring, wish to bring to your notice is that in the case here, there has been clearly a nexus between hardline jihadis and your soldiers of the Baluch regiment who allowed them to go across if you say your army is not involved and, and conduct this gruesome act which is completely unbecoming of a uniformed soldier on a... 
dignity and giving the enemy half a chance to survive is what soldiers live by and jihadis but maruf, who you cultivate don't but maruf, that norm but maruf when has the pakistani army followed any rules when has the pakistani army followed the fourth Geni geneva when, convention till date zafar hilali till no no one second zafar hilali no no zafar hilali one thing is to fire across the loc no 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 army armies can fire across the loc no maru one second you see zafar hilali armies can fire across the loc all the time no armies fire across the loc said pirzada only barbarians behead behead uniformed soldiers no i want to i want to get it on record today from zafar hilali Yes. Uniform soldier, uniform soldier, uniform soldier. May I make a minor observation over here? And may I make an observation after you do? Sure. For how long you will make observation? You have to give us chance to speak and listen carefully for us as well. Go on. Right. Go on. Make yes, your observation, then I will make enough. mine. Sure, sure. Please. Here is my uh, point of view. Look, the reality on the ground is that India continues to stonewall the ultimate resolution of Jammu oh, and Kashmir. Sir. That is why that is why you have 700,000 troops, a paramilitary sir. and regular troops in the valley to no, defend it. Sir, so one side, reality. We have no, no, one second. One, one second. No, one second. I don't know. I, Orna, 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 I don't know why no, no, you waste no, 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 time. No, 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 I don't know why you waste time getting Pakistanis on the show. Right into the whose figures are so, so yeah, off the mark hold on, hold that you can't make relevant that conversations. That is not the way to continue a dialogue or a, uh, you know. Okay, talk, let him continue. Let him continue, Maruf. Maruf, I let our Pakistan guests continue. I think they have a right to complete their point of view. I will have a point to make to them after that. I am not here to win a battle against you. I am here to get the point across, which is this, that when, disputed, when disputes linger on, uh, the, uh, the things, uh, the acrimony increases, hostility increases, nations they get, uh, they get into an antagonistic mode, and, and things go sour. It must have gone sour okay. against this background when we saw this clash two days ago. Okay, Pakistan so I have one question to ask you. And I have one question to ask you. Let me just. I have one question to ask you. No, 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 no. I just, I just ask want to interject. Ask no, no. One follow up. You said you let me, and I will ask I you the thought, question. Now. I thought that, ties were improving. Is there a talk show? Or or I thought ties were improving. No, I have a simple question for. I have a simple question for Syed Pirzada. Syed Syed Tariq Pirzada, I have great respect for you. But tell me, no, no, me that, no, one second, sure. one second. You know what's going on between uh, Islamabad and the Baluchis, right? So let me put this to you. If no. the Baluchis come you and behead of one minute, sir. Point. If the Baluchis come and behead a few of your men, will you accept that with grace and say, it is a reality that must happen? Will you say so? It's just like saying, if will the you next say so? No, answer you know, my uh, question. Uh, come out and and behead the uh, behead what the head of a about? person in uh, from New Delhi. So I, I, I asked that? you a question. That's you're a dodging it. argument. What are you talking about? I'm I'm telling you the reality that I think I think there is something called Article 147 and Zafar Hilali was must accept it tonight. That willful killing, torture, or inhuman treatment, including causing great suffering or serious injury to the body or health of a protected person. And it goes on and on. But I don't think this applies anymore. Are you saying that no, no, one second. Are you, it did. are you saying that building mass graves is, sir, is, is any sir, less than uh, you know, uh, sir, you are, what you did in Kashmir? Sir, you are, you are indulging in rhetoric. I am, I am putting out the fact. The fact is that people from no, no, your... Uh, let, let, let sir, me, please, sir, please, the, please, sir, let sir, me the fact is... Thing. The you fact is, the fact is that 29 Baluch opinion. regiment carried out a beheading. He has his own opinion. 29 no, Baluch on, regiment yeah, carried out a beheading. About? Sometimes you say something, sometimes no, you no. say wrong thing. Please Pro listen it. But Professor, why you are giving us always Zafar Alali said? Zafar Alali has his own opinion. We respect no, it, I'm but you have to take our opinion. Let's ask Zafar Alali. Let's ask Zafar Alali. No, no. You, you can go with that opinion. You have to take our opinion. We are responsible about our yeah, opinion. Yes, so I'll yeah. ask you. We are not responsible. You can ask why that is saying this. It's Pro not Professor, my problem. My problem is that Professor, you raise the issue. Try to come on that issue. Professor, you know, I'm just going to be direct. I know it's uncomfortable that your army has carried out two beheadings or mutilations of bodies that your army butchered and, and cut into pieces your, the body of Captain Saurabh Kalia. But it what must has be your said. Army done? No, one second. Why what has your army done? What Wha happened two days before? I am no. I am asking you. Where did the Indian army behead or mutilate 
a Pakistani army soldier in the last two days. In the last two days. No, tell me today. Come on. Kashmir is a part of India. Last period. Last the Pakistani soldier was killed on the LOC by the Indian Be, army. Beheading. That is a fact.